welcome back to Kids Life. If this is your first time here, a special welcome to you too. We are so excited that you're here to join us on our adventure with God. And today we are continuing our adventure of Game Changer. Can we all say Game Changer? Very good. We have been learning that God wants us on His team. And on our adventure, we have been learning how we can move as a team with God as we discover, encounter, and learn how to display the love of Jesus. So boys and girls, are you ready to move into our adventure today? Well, how do we begin all our adventures? That's right, we begin our adventures by centering our hearts on God. Because when we center our hearts on God, we get to move with Him in all our adventures. And moving with God is the best way to move. So let's all stand up and center our hearts together. When we center our hearts, we love always, trust God no matter what, and we make wise choices. Very good, boys and girls. Now that our hearts are centered, let's all move our bodies to worship. Hey kids, let's get ready for worship. Get up on your feet, get your hearts, your minds, and your bodies ready for this time to praise the Lord. Let's go. response to God. So we lift up one voice, we lift up one voice, we sing and we shout for joy. For now we are yours, yes our hearts are yours, you ransom us with your love.
Well, that was an awesome time of worship. Thank you all for joining us. Now I'm going to invite you into just being in prayer. So if you can go ahead and bow your heads and close your eyes. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this awesome time we just had together. Let these kids open up their eyes, their hearts, and their ears to you so they can hear this lesson and really take it into their own life, Lord. Thank you for everything you're doing. We do it all for you. In your heavenly name we pray. Amen. What an amazing time of worship. I absolutely love worshiping with you as a team and showing God how much we love him together. So team, are you ready to look at the book and hear from God today? That's awesome. Let's begin by asking God to come and help us encounter him and meet him today. Let's all pray together. God, thank you so much for bringing us here so that we can hang out with you and learn more about you. Open our ears and our hearts as we encounter you and meet you here today and speak into us so that we can move closer to you. We love you and we choose you. And in Jesus' name, all God's children said, Amen. Very good, boys and girls. So I have a question for you. Raise your hand if you have ever played on a sports team before. That's so cool. Well, in most sports like basketball, baseball, hockey, soccer, each player has an important, play, important part to play on the team. And that's the same truth for God's team too. We each have a part to play on his team. And today we are going to look at the second book of the Bible called Exodus. Wait, second book of the Bible, Exodus. We looked at that last week. That's right. So we've been looking at the book of Exodus and we discovered about a man who led the Israelites. Do you remember what his name was? That's right, his name was Moses. And today we are gonna continue looking at his story, looking at his adventure, and learn about a time when he had to lead the Israelites in a battle against the Amalekites. Are you ready? Now for today's look at the book, I have a challenge for you. I'm gonna see how long you can keep your arms high up in the air as I share God's message with you today. Are you ready? Let's all lift our arms up to the sky. Very good. So here's today's story. Moses chose Joshua to lead the Israelites in a battle against the Amalekites. And this is what Moses said to him. Choose some of our men, then go and fight against the Amalekites. Tomorrow I will stand on the top of the hill I'll stand there holding the walking stick God gave me. Now he's going to hold the walking stick. Are your hands up right now? Very good. That's what Moses is going to do too. So even though Moses was the leader of the Israelites, he knew he was not the best at leading the Israelites in, an, in a battle. That's why he chose Joshua to play his part. So Joshua chose his men and went in the battle to fight against the Amalekites. Now, while Joshua was there, Moses went up to the hill to watch the battle as he was holding up the walking stick, just as he said he would. And while he was going there, two other Israelite men named Aaron and Hur walked up with him. Oh, let me check. How are your arms? Are they up in the air? A little bit higher? Very good. Let's continue. So as long as Moses kept his arms up with the walking stick, the Israelites were winning the battle against the Amalekites. But as soon as his arms started to lower down, the Amalekites started to win. Sounds like an easy battle, right? Well, let me ask you this. How are your arms doing? Are they getting a little tired? Well, that's how Moses felt too. Moses had his arms held up, the Israelites were winning, but his arms started to get tired too. You can all bring your arms down. Very good, everyone. Good job on holding up your arms as I was sharing you the message. Well, let's continue on what Moses did when his arms started to get tired, too. So remember the two guys who walked up with him named Aaron and Hur? Well, they saw Moses was getting tired, and they realized they can help him out, too. So they got a stone, put it right underneath Moses so he could sit on it, and then each of them took an arm to help Moses hold up his arm so that he can hold up the walking stick that God gave him. We had Aaron on one side and we had her on the other, other, on the other side, holding up the walking stick together. 
And guess what happened? That's right. Moses was able to hold the stick up until sunset and the Israelites won the battle. Very good. So just like Moses, her, Aaron, and Joshua, we all have a part to play on God's team too. And God wants us to work together so that we can help each other and win the battle against the enemy. So let me ask you, boys and girls, what are some things that you're good at? Maybe it could be solving a really hard puzzle or comforting someone who's really sad or being able to be patient and help someone to be patient when they're waiting in line. Very good. Now let me ask you another question. What are the some things that you're not so good at? Maybe that can be staying calm when you're angry or being brave when you're going somewhere dark, or it can be trying to figure out how to learn how to read. Very good. I know for me, there are some things that I know I'm good at and something that I'm not so good at, but God loves us so much and he created each and every one of us differently with different gifts, different talents, so that we can help each other out and they can help us out when we need help too. That's what it means to be on God's team. Let's take a look at our memory verse. Our memory verse says, let's say it all together. Two people are better than one. They can help each other in everything they do. Ecclesiastes chapter four, verse nine. Very good. So our memory verse teaches us that we are better together. And God wants us to work together, to be there for each other, to help us love always, to trust God no matter what, and to help each other to make wise choices so that we can move with him and to share his love with others too. So boys and girls, just like Aaron, Moses, her, and Joshua, you each have a part to play on God's team too, leading us to our big idea. Today's big idea is on God's team, players work together. Can we all say that together? On God's team, players work together. Now we're gonna say it as quiet as a mouse. Are you ready? On God's team, players work together. Very good. Now we're gonna say it as loud as we can so our neighbors know that they can be on God's team and they can work together too. Are you ready? On God's team, players work together. Very good. God loves us so much and he created us all differently so that we can help others on the things we're good at and we can ask for help on the things that we're not so good at. And when we do, we get to work together, help each other out, and share Jesus' love with others. So question for today, who are you going to work together with this week and share Jesus' love with? That's awesome. I think for me, I'm gonna work together with my brother, ask him for help on reaching stuff that are way too high for me, and to help him out with anything he needs help with his schoolwork. Well, boys and girls, I hope you had a wonderful time raising your hands up, learning about being on God's team. And as a team, let's all pray together and thank God for speaking to us today. Let's all pray together. Repeat after me. Hi, God. Thank you so much for choosing us to be on your team. Thank you for bringing people around us to help us when we need help. Help us to work together as a team. We love you, we choose you, and in Jesus' name, all God's children said, amen. Well, boys and girls, we're not done yet because we have a really fun encounter activity coming up next to help us train on how on God's team, players work together. So stay tuned. Welcome back boys and girls. So for today's encounter activity, we are gonna play a game that has to do with our big idea. What's our big idea today? 
That's right. Our big idea today is on God's team. Players work together. So we need you and a partner for this for this game because we are a team. And we need one ball. It can be an inflatable ball, a handball, a basketball, a football, whatever you have at home. Then you and your partner are going to face back to back. Make sure your backs are touching. And you're going to have a parent put this ball right between you. And you and your partner will start by sitting down on the ground and you have to get up without using your hands and keeping your ball on your back. Sounds good? Well, I hope you have a fun time working together as a team. Make sure you record it, have your parents take a picture of it with the hashtag Kids Life at the Well. Well, boys and girls, I have such a wonderful time hanging out with you, hanging out with God with you. And before we leave, we have an exciting news just for you. So, the well is part of a bigger team called Foursquare. And this team is across the entire world. And this summer, we have a really fun, exciting, exciting conference just for you. So it's called Kids Digital Experience. And you can register online. We'll have links for you on the description below. And it's a three-day online camp that's all about hanging out with God and discovering Him with everyone across the country, just as what we learned today. So make sure you check out the link below. There's more information coming your way. And don't forget, Mondays, we have Zoom at noon for all of Kids Life. And on Thursdays, kindergartners, you get to join Miss Ashley and me and the first graders on our Devos on Zoom Thursdays at 6.30 p.m. We hope to see you guys soon, and I hope you have a wonderful week. And remember, you are loved.